everyone, it's Felicia Dorch with Relationship Entertainment TV with the news you can use and the ish you don't want to miss. Thank you so much for tuning in today on this Thursday. I would like to piggyback a little bit off of the topic that I spoke on last Tuesday or this past Tuesday about mental health and things you can do during COVID to not feel so isolated. So in this time, we're now facing having to work from home. A great number of us are working from home as well as our children are doing homeschool or online school with the public school system. And I know everyone is like going nuts. Like I didn't intend to be at home all day with my children at the same time. That's a different ball game in itself. Me personally, I love working from home, but I've done it before. So this is something that I actually look forward to because it helps me to get more things done. And I know you're probably saying, how on earth is that possible? Because you have to work as well. So one of the things I would like to talk about is I like to keep be very transparent and use myself as an example. I'm a nurse analyst. So basically I work from home. I work on a laptop. I analyze medical records for a law firm. So I don't have to sit nonstop staring at the laptop. My employer actually encourages us to get up, move around, you know, do something else, exercise, walk around. And then you're probably saying, okay, Felicia, I don't have a job like yours. I am tied to the laptop. Let's use my oldest daughter for an example. She works from home as well, but she constantly have to look at her laptop and work on claims dealing with, you know, people's money. So she has to be really paying attention. So we're going to, in this segment, we're going to talk about how that looks like, what that looked like, things you can do to help uh, break the monotony of sitting at home or sitting on the laptop or trying to, and also trying to incorporate your children's learning. So I'm just going to use what I do. And again, this may not work for you, but it works for me. This is intended to help. So in the news they were discussing today about a number of parents uh, are complaining about having to work from home as well as being in charge of their children's learning. So here's some of the things that I do. One of the biggest things that helped me is an actual planner. If you don't have a planner, you need to get a planner. And you're probably saying, what do I need a planner for when we can't even leave the house? Or there's not really many things that your children can go to or things that I can go to. So what's the point of a planner? Well, I'll tell you the point of a planner. So for me, I run a business as well as I work. So I have to write down the, the times that I'm having a meeting or the different events that I'm attending that may be virtual. Even the smallest things of having a virtual wine, uh, a wine experience with my cousins, I'll write it down so I don't forget that that's what I'm going to be doing. So that's why I say a planner is, is really good with helping you to plan out your day. Another thing that I have is a lesson plan book and that's for my children's homeschool. So this is a little different than what some people may be doing. Their children may log on to a public school system and that they just log on, the teacher takes over and it guides their day. For me, I'm a homeschool teacher, homeschool mom, so I actually have to guide my day. So one of the things that I do is I get up a few hours earlier than my twins get up. And this, uh, this will allow me to kind of get myself together, get my coffee, because without my coffee, the children, it won't work. They won't learn anything. I'll be a nervous wreck and the whole day will be shot. So I get up, I drink my coffee. I kind of take some time to myself. Then by that time, it's time for me to log on or clock in to my job. So I log into my computer. After that, maybe between 8.30, 9 o'clock, the twins will start, you know, waking up and getting going with their day. The plan is to start school at 9.30. At this point, I've worked from 7 to 9.30. I'll take a break, start them with their first lesson, which we're starting with Bible first. I'll go over the lesson with them and they'll get started on their lesson. And as they're progressing through their work, which they can do on their own, now I'm back to doing work on my laptop and keeping myself going with my job. Once they finish with that, the next lesson we have is history. And I keep everything on a time limit all the way down to eating lunch. We break for lunch. We break to go outside. We go ride bikes. You know, we do anything to keep ourselves 
entertain with each other during COVID. So this will help you during these times to try to find ways to break up the day. Now, let's say you're saying, okay, well, Felicia, I can't come and go on my laptop like you can. So how can I still make sure that my child is doing their work and I'm doing mine? One of the best suggestions I would have is, and this was actually mentioned on the news, to set up the workstation next to your child. And that may not be ideal for you depending on the age of your child, um, but it could work. You just have to try it and see. When you set up your workstation, set it up side by side with them. And the funny thing is with little children, they will feel like that they're emulating you, that they are doing the same thing mommy's doing and doing the same thing that daddy is doing. And it's so funny, the toy makers, I think it's Mattel actually has a toy out now of a person, a little doll sitting at a desk with a baby under the desk because there's been several memes that have been shown on the news or talked about on the news about parents at home working with their child under the desk. And that's true because I can tell you, I sit downstairs and I work and sometimes I'm actually holding my grandbaby with me. I did an entire Zoom meeting with my staff yesterday with my grandbaby on my shoulder. I did a coaching session this morning with my, my grandbaby right on my shoulder. I have done several of much of my work with my children sitting right next to me. So that's why I'm saying that could be a great option for you to have your workstation next to your child. So if there is a question, you don't have to stop, get over, get up from the laptop and you know go over and help them with their work because they're right there next to you. Um, it definitely works for the older children and it could work for the younger children as well. Another option could be is find out with your company policy what the expectations are for you working from home. So again, using myself as an example, with my job, I am able to um, I'm able to get up as much as I want to get up. I'm able to stop what I'm doing and take care of whatever needs to be taken care of. Okay. So with let's use my daughter as an example. The one I told you she has to continuously look at her laptop. She's working with claims. She has scheduled in breaks. One of those life things that's happening right now, dog is barking at the same time that I'm doing this video. So please excuse that. Anyhow, so with her job, she has scheduled in breaks and with the breaks, she takes the 15 minutes in the morning. Then she has a lunch break and take a 15 minute after. So we tag team with her baby because her baby is two months old. And so sometimes I'll have her because my job is a little more convenient than hers and sometimes she will. Okay, so you may be saying that, okay, I can't do that. I, I can't have the baby while I'm doing the work, while I'm teaching the other one in homeschool. What do I do now? Okay, at that point, I just say turn on cartoons and just let the whole day go. No, seriously, you would just have to find what works for you. Um, possibly see if you can have someone to come over and help. There are some, I've, I've noticed that there are some groups that are kind of tag teaming with parents or with each other, kind of like a co-op group. For an example, last year, me and my friend did kind of a co-op type of thing. Our children did homeschool together because I physically had to leave the home to work. Working from home wasn't an option for me. Okay, so you have to get out and find out what your resources are. And because everyone is in this situation right now, you'd be amazed of how many people would agree to say, hey, I'll take them, I'll take the children, homeschool them while you work from home Mondays and Wednesdays, and then you do it Tuesdays and Thursdays. That way somebody is helping the children with the schoolwork, as well as them being able to continue to do their job from home. So those are some of the options that just thinking offhand that you can do to try to make this work. But one of the biggest things you have to do, no matter how you do it, no matter what your situation is or how it presents itself, you have to plan it. You have to have everything planned out. I've mentioned in several videos about the command center that I have in my home. And it doesn't make me any better than anyone else. It just helps me personally be able to guide through my day. And the only way I am able to get through these things is because I have a very strict schedule. And some people look at that as, well, you know, then the children are not, not able to do what they need to do or you're always on a schedule. Isn't that strenuous? 
actually it's not it with me being only one person i'm not a clone hadn't figured out that process yet but i can make sure that they're fed their work is done activities are completed chores are done and dinners on a table without it taking the entire day and with older children because we're all at home together, let them get some responsibility. You know, if there are younger siblings in a home and you work from home, for an example, I always like to use myself so you can see that I would do this if I had to. I have 13 year old twins and I have a 25 year old. If the 25 year old is not busy or her work queue is not as busy and she's sitting around or not, you know, really having anything she needs to do and the baby's asleep, then I can get her to assist the twins with something that I may not be able to do. If I'm in a staff meeting, now back to the command center, I will have my staff meetings listed there. So my twins and I know, okay, at this time, mommy can't be bothered because she's in a staff meeting. So now I have to get help elsewhere. And at that point, I'll let my daughter know, hey, I can't be bothered between 10 and 11. So can you help the twins with their math or with their lesson or with whatever it is they're trying to do that I can't be there for? So you're using the siblings and let's move down to the 13 year olds. If my daughter is working from home and she cannot get the baby, I'm in the middle of a meeting, then one of the twins will get the baby and do the best that they can, they can until one of us can grab the baby. Because my job's a little less strenuous than hers, I'm able to calm the baby while I'm on camera, while I'm in a Zoom, Zoom meeting, as long as I'm able to hear what's going on. So there are so many scenarios of what could be happening and what you are allowed and, and, and not allowed to do. So my first suggestion would be ask your, your, your uh, employer, what is the expectations of you working from home? Do you have any breaks? Is it the same breaks as you would have if you were at the building? at the company. When I'm downtown in my office, the same thing I do at home, I do there in my office. I'm able to get up, walk around, you know, go work out, go eat lunch, come back to my desk, be refreshed and start again. So ask your employer, do I have a 15 minute break in the morning? You know, everyone knows that majority of us are working from home and they know our children are at home. So this is the prime opportunity for you to find out what the guidelines are and what you're allowed to do. Cause they know at some point you're going to have to get up and tend to your children. You're going to have to help them with their schoolwork. I don't think there's any employer out there that thinks you can sit like a robot for eight hours in front of a laptop and not move. So just going back, tying it all back in, we were talking about what was brought up on the news about how to have the work-life balance, how to be able to work from home, have your children at home at the same time, and make sure that their work is done. And this is more so for the ones that are not linked to a public school option, because if I'm not mistaken, the public school option has guided curriculum and a teacher that's there available that's instructing and talking to them. Okay, you still will have to help them, but most likely you'll help them after school when they're finished or when they're done with being online. Um, I'd have to find out a little more about the public school system to see how long they're online. But for homeschool parents like myself, we usually take four to five hours with school and we're done. So then after that, they have things that they already know they have to do. Like they have to do chores, they have to, sometimes it's their turn to cook dinner. You know, they take turns with things like that. Or I've already instructed them or they're doing their homework. So this helps them stay occupied while I finish out my day at four o'clock. So I hope this helps you. I hope this was um, great information for you. And just remember, ask your employer what you can do to manage your time working from home, as well as incorporating your, ch your children's learning. Till we meet again, this is Felicia Deutsch on Relationship Entertainment TV with the news you can use and the issue you don't want to miss. See you Tuesday.